Greetings, sir and sirettes, and welcome back to Airships Conquer the Skies with me, Alathrix, and of course, welcome back to this game after a very long time. I think the last time I played this may have been a couple of years ago. Apparently, it's been updated heavily since then, and I'm really keen to see just what the game is like. So, what we're going to be doing today is just a, a bit of the conquest mode, the main mode where you try and take over the map, and we're going to see if it's something for the channel going forwards. I'll probably do a full playthrough or a proper Let's Play format after this one, so I might restart the conquest, but today is all about just checking things out and seeing if it's something which I want to spend more time in. I've just finished recording from the depths, and I'm still in the mood to build things. So, a new game begins. So, first of all, we get to design our coat of arms, which I believe give us all sorts of different bonuses depending on what we want. Though there is one which I'm really keen on testing out. It's one of the new ones. There we go, the Worm Eye, which will allow you to get cultist technologies. I mean, some of the others do seem a bit more just effective. Harpoons, uh, Guillotine, which will allow revolting cities to join you. We, we can have some tech straight away. Spies are cheaper. Cannons can be more accurate. Loads of stuff, but nope, we're going with the cult. You know, that just looks utterly horrifying. Yep, yeah, that's what we're going to go with. Also, there should be music. There was music earlier. I was testing out the recording software on this. Don't know why it stopped, but there will be music when we're in the game, I'm sure. If not, I'll just reset everything. So, I went with a small map for this test, and we are the creepy cult. So then, first things first, let's have a quick look at the map. There's a lot of ocean. You know, as there tends to be. So, there's us right in the corner. We have Sticklington and... Tadlerack as our two neighbours there. There's the mad scientist over here. There's some turtle doves. There's lots of stuff we could hunt, which would hopefully give us some stuff. But again, small map. We're on medium difficulty. Let's get going. Creepy cult to your home city. Yeah, all the usual stuff there. Really should have uh, disabled tutorial now I think about it, but that's fine. And let's start off by having a look-see what our starter fleet is. That is a... Uh, that's a balloon of a tower on it, isn't it? Yep. So there's our cultists, since we get the special cultist infantry. And just rifles. Just loads and loads of rifles. I mean, it's okay versus other light craft, I suppose, and it is fairly cheap. Okay, so that's our first craft. What kind of defenses do we have in our forces? We have little towers. Again, we apparently really love rifles. Well, obviously, we need to make our own craft very soon, but first, let's get into the research, and whoa, I forgot how much stuff there is here. So, we get things like rockets, flamethrowers, aerial torpedoes, and then we have all the better stuff at the end. Guided missiles! Mech spiders, but seriously, guided missiles, that's pretty cool. Shaped hulls, but what I really want to see is our cult stuff. Okay, so, to begin with, we get cultist crew. I wonder how they're different to normal crew, I have to take a quick look at that soon. And the first one is secret signs and rituals which decrease the enemy spies chance of, su of success or we can have our spies be more successful. After that less cultist crew maintenance that's really nice and more construction speed which is good as well. Sick bays can revive the dead that's a bit of a jump there isn't it you know a bit less maintenance and now we have <laughs> we can resurrect the dead. Yeah a bit of necromancy there. The Awakening can summon Kraken Revenant. Okay, that's really cool, but for now, I would like rockets and flamethrowers because they just make me happy. So let's go with that. So we have to do the rockets research, then the combustibles, the flamethrowers. I'm going to increase our research budget all the way to... I was going to say Empire of Science, but then we're going to have like no money left over. So let's do research programs. Now speed that along nicely. And let's build our first craft. Then we can go on the offensive and attack one of our neighbouring villages. So, uh, design ship. So straight away, a few things I don't remember from before. Different types of sails, we now have... different sizes of... Ooh, that's interesting, okay. C to flip vertically, N for variant. Okay, I see. Well, that is interesting indeed, but what I really want to know is about these cultists. Okay, so the quarters there for the air silos. Aha, we have the cultist version. So, 15 cultists, 
40 weight, 6 maintenance, and 3 supply. These only give 12, and for more maintenance. Okay, so you get more of them, and they're cheaper. Oh, not quite as fast and effective as sailors, but you do get a lot of them, though, so... That's going with sheer number, as the normal quarters give us better units. So I guess space-wise, these are better, but everything else, these probably win. So that's interesting. So that's our first bonus for our current flag. Okay, let's just put something nice and cheap together. Uh, what weapons do we actually have at the moment? Is the question. So weapons... Ooh, a ballista. I don't remember that either. We have the bomb bay. I remember that being amazing, so I might just make a bomber to begin with. We have grenades, which are always fun. Kinetic bomb. The easiest way to hurt your enemies from an airship is to simply drop heavy things on them. Is it just a rock? Oh, you can only fire it once per combat, but it's super cheap. Very heavy, though. As you'd imagine, I suppose, considering it's meant to be dropped on thick. Yeah, it's just a rock. Sometimes the simple things work. We have the musket, the rifles, the cannons, and the grape shot cannons. Okay, aerial charges, what are you? A tank of charged suspendium dust carrying aloft a bomb fused to explode on contact. Okay, so anti-air capabilities. Interesting. Slightly flammable and explodes easily. Yep, that's what that will do. Flammable and explosive. Okay, I'm just gonna throw some things together. Well, we have loads of options. And this is with, with no tech. First of all, what should we do? Go with the suspendium chamber, which will allow us to fly, but does require coal. Or we could go with the really vulnerable blimp approach. I do like the blimp style. Just trying to remember all the things we need to get this thing to work. So, we do have the bridge, or we could just go with the smaller version, and I think that's probably best for this little thing. So now we can control it. We have propulsion in the form of the sail. We have lift in the form of the pointy end cap here, the um, suspendium dust tank. We have a fire point, which is really big. Uh, wasn't there a smaller version of that? I think we might need to research the tech for it. Just like, yeah, the fire point is kind of needed if we're going to have things like, well, honestly, it's always needed. Fires are very common in this game. But then there's loads of other stuff as well. So I've got all the basics here. Essentially, this thing can fly currently. There's no error signs coming up. It has everything you need. But obviously, it's completely worthless. So we have to decide on what weapons to use. We could go just bombs. Um, bombs, I remember, being incredibly effective. I do kind of want to test out the ballista. Just because it seems fun. There's quite a lot we could do, actually. What might be interesting as well is having a reinforced front and then having more balloons on the back. I think I've done a design very similar to that in the past. And then have all the weapons in a straight line down, all armoured up since you can actually add armour. Starts off just the wood walls, but then you can add things like steel. I mean, bricks a bit worthless for us because it's too heavy, but uh, canvas? That's new. Just protects against the weather. I mean, it looks cool. But for now, just stick with the uh, wooden wall. Sorry, the wooden armour. The default. Sufficient to protect against small arms fire, but highly vulnerable to explosives. And eventually we can unlock better armour as well. I mean, this is just stupid, right? So, the large tanks can explode. Now these can't actually, um, despite what they look like. These are just flammable, they don't detonate. But these can explode, and they're nice and exposed here. Although, in this game, you can't really make a wall on the front and that will stop all shots. It doesn't quite work like that since they can fire and hit pretty much anywhere. But still, uh, extremely exposed and extremely vulnerable. It's only got one purpose, to sit above the enemy and just rain down bombs, and that is it. I'm tempted to go with it, honestly. It's gonna be fun and silly. Also, I have way too many crew. Why do I have so many crew? Oh, I put down two of these by mistake. Well, that explain it. There we go. Low maintenance, only nine per month. So that's not bad. Yeah, um, could just go with this for our first little starter thing. We are going to be trying to siege um, villages as soon as possible. We do have the other design already there for light anti-air support. In fact, what I'm going to do, yeah, I'll save this. I'll rename it something else in a second. 
kind of looks like an angry tic tac anyway yeah i'll rename this this will be our first craft and then i will edit the other one because i'm not a big fan of the rifles i much prefer just cannons or i may just make two craft yeah why don't i just make two craft that's what i'll do so this is one of the designs which uh, which is pre-done and that's how you make a small craft small propeller supply hatch small chamber we then have two berths, which are for all of the regular people there. And then you have a small coal store, and that's it. That is very, little, that is very, very little ammo, though. That's going to go through that in moments. I do like cannons. They're just the default, and they do pretty well. But what I prefer is another type of cannon, if I can find it, which is just more fun. Aha, there it is. I completely forgot what it's called, so I didn't have to search for it. It is the Grape Shot Cannon. This cannon fires a spray of smaller cannonballs to tear through light armor and crew alike. I have found these to be incredibly useful last time I was playing around with them. So I think I might try and make a craft with those rather than the standard. How much ammo do I use? Does it say? Reload time, fire arc. Oh, I thought it stated how much ammo they take. Ammo storage 24, but does that mean each shot is one? That can't be the case, because those rifles would just burn through ammo. Yeah, what I'm going to do is open up the other design and refit it with stuff. Okay, building one of our bombers. So what we're going to try and do is go after one of these um, small villagers as soon as possible. You can also send a spy, but right now I'm very poor, because I'm making things. Aha, schedule off. You were about to attack. We're not ready yet. We have two. I'd like one more ship. Before we go. Because I don't know what the defences are like here. Since I haven't sent a spy. Because we're just not rich enough right now. Oh, it looks like there's some fighting going on down there. Up here's quite... Ooh, you lost. You landed there and just vanished. It's very slow to begin with. I do remember this. That won't take too long. Then once they're all together, I think I'll attack this one. Oh, wow. That looks awesome. And it's terrifying. Yep, proper brick armor, of course, since it's just a uh, building. But that is way sturdier looking than I originally thought. We might lose this. Also, it looks awesome. Oh, I know what I want to build now. I want to build a tank, which looks like a castle. That's what I want to build. But, uh, yeah, that's going to be really difficult. Okay, the right-hand side is significantly weaker by the looks of things, just less weapons. So we should really try and get everyone across. It's going to be a bit annoying by the looks of things, but that's fine. Okay, so I'm going to want you to just go across like that, then down. You, I'm going to try and make move across like this, and it doesn't really matter for you since you're going to be above. The rifles will be able to aim upwards though, because they can. I think we're probably going to lose the bomber in this. Just way too many light arms fire. We're going to end up losing the balloons. Oh, I don't like the odds here, but I'm going to do it anyway, because I'm a silly, silly thing. Okay, let's pause for a sec. So you get across and get to there as soon as you can. You just go all the way across. You wait for a few seconds. Then get there. You're faster than the others, aren't you? <laughs> You're pushing it! Well, that's silly. Please let go. Thank you. Okay, you swap to rapid fire, which is this one here. This sacrifices a lot of accuracy, but obviously allows you to fire faster. We're going to be at point blank range since it's the grape shot cannon, so it shouldn't be too much of an issue. Really. Oh, you just flipped again. Whoops, a daisy. My bad. Well, that did very little. Yet the full brick armor there is going to be an absolute nightmare. 
See, this is why I don't like two-sided things like this, because it can only use half its weapons on this enemy. It's good if you're fighting multiple things, but generally speaking, I prefer one-sided. Those bombs are doing way less than I expected. I'm hoping the Grape Shot Cannons start aiming at the same place, because they can chunk out armor. Oh, I don't like my odds here at all. Can you move a little bit forward? I'm just trying to get so some of those rifles to not hit you. Right there, can you still use all your weapons? That's a problem, though. I doubt the ones on the far right can still fire. I could go on rapid fire for the... No, they can't. Okay, good. Still all the guns can hit you, though. Yeah, we are losing that before the end of this, I almost guarantee. Okay, I heard some deaths on the enemy side. Fantastic. Down goes the main spire. Although, we are... We are... Two ships now. Oh, no. <laughs> well, at least we took out the enemy a bit. Oh, I should have just gone with the chambers like in this craft. It makes them so much dirtier. If you just take out that one gun, we're basically done, mate. Oh, no. I don't have any um, water on this craft because I didn't have enough space for the whole water things, how cheap it is. So we are going to lose that gun. On the upside. Uh, ramming speed, do something. I mean, we win, right? Good. Oh, that was so bad and showed so many weaknesses in my builds. Okay, victory still. Um, gentle, brutal, or pillaging. So, okay. Uh, slow and gentle tr transfer power that leaves the city mostly intact. The city is rapidly brought under your control. Or pillaging. The treasuries of the city are plundered, resulting in a lot of money in the short term. But obviously it's going to damage it in the long term. I'm going to go with a... I, I need the money though, don't I? Go halfway. Yeah, brutal. Okay, you're still not attacking. Whoa. Okay, move back to the shipyard. Nope, I can't do that because of you. Please don't go back to what you were doing. That would be great. I would love to repair these two. Yeah, I need water. Uh, one of the researches for a small one, the, um... There we are, fire extinguishers. They're fantastic because they're tiny. The current module for fighting fires is so expensive in terms of size. Okay, both are rearmed, and now let's get you both repaired. Oh, you're not actually damaged. Huh, that's cool. Do I make another bomb? Uh, you know what? I think the vast majority was done by the grape here. That... Their cannons were fantastic, so I'm going to make another one of those. And then once that's built, I'm going to try and attack somewhere else. Okay, you now have two sets of ships, so you're definitely going to build another one of the grapes, because you can actually fight ships. Why does I call it grape? Because grape shot cannon. That is literally it. Ooh, we get rockets. Oh, I love rockets. What should I go with next? Okay, some of the cultist stuff looks really cool, but it's more of the light game stuff. I'm tempted to buy fire extinguishers next, though I do want flamethrowers still. No, I want my uh, fire extinguishers, please. But oh yeah, we're going to go rockets as soon as possible. So that's the mix of two fleets, so that's going to be quite scary, I imagine. wonder if we can invade this. Okay, no, that's going to send them. What if I do this? Okay, bit of a stalemate right now. Okay, great. You're going to attack. Nope. Let's wait until it actually lands next time. Ooh, something's moving. Mad scientist? I know that if you destroy some of these, you get, like, bonuses. That was interesting. Yeah, right now we're all just going to staring at each other angrily. I'm going to make... One more of the grapes. Maybe I should have called this something a bit less silly. Then maybe attack? It's nice having this other village, though. We are getting 16 income extra now because of that. Okay, let's see what happens. And... Ooh, repelled! Fantastic! That's good for us, because it means there's a good chance you're damaged now. So we should go there even if they do have the ship, because it's damaged, and this would be a good chance to take out their navy. 
in addition to taking a village. This village is called Sodvale. Okay, just one ship. Yeah, must have lost a ship. And its defenses are... That. See, that's what I was expecting in the other place, not bloody Death Tower. No, you can't go much higher on that, can I? Uh, you go there, I guess you go up there. Just cluster around it and hope for the best. <laughs> There's a lot of shells straight away. Come on, fire again already. I want to see more damage. So you have just two regular cannons, what looks of things. He's wishing I had some boarding um, stuff right now. Is there a way to make it flip before the movement's finished? I'm sure there is. This thing has good armor on it. Saying that we have like no armor penetration stuff, clearly that's what I should have done, but too bad. That was nice. Yeah, there goes a lot of its armor. We can now see one of its chambers. Which means now our shots are going to be doing damage to the module itself, along with... Oh, it's being repaired, I think. Given, uh, it must have a repair bay inside. Something else we don't have at the moment. We <laughs> bounce around with the shots. Kind of bullying, aren't we? Oh, goodbye. Really should have put them all behind it, but too bad. Hey, uh, we're cultists. Oh, you're still alive. Well, you can't fight back, so that's good. Why do they keep doing that? It's always such weird movement. There we go. I do love these weapons. Well, that was pretty fantastic. Okay, now gentle takeover. I feel a lot safer right now, so I'll do that. That will give us more income at the end. An old sod veil. Okay, we're doing really well. Oh, they're being attacked from there. Oh, look at a tiny little island. That's cute. Should probably just go after one of their villagers, because these seem to be kind of bullied out at the moment. So if we... Take up that, although we do have ammo problems, I imagine, right now. If I do that, are we okay? Okay. So three of those. The light's also coming from the right, so we need to uh, move over there anyway, so... Stagger them a little bit. So they don't get in each other's way quite as much. Ah! Yep, you needed to restock. I was even saying about that. I forgot that exists. I won't lose anything here, will I? No, okay, that's fine. So, can you just move back? Th Do you always have to go back to a shipyard? Then to restock. I thought you'd. M I thought I might be able to restock by just going to like, any village, but I must be wrong. Again, not, not played this in a long time. That didn't used to be a thing. At least, I didn't think it was. Maybe it was. So, rearmed also means restocked, I suppose. We could try and take out their capital, but I doubt we'll win that. And now what we can do is start building some rockets. On a rocket tank. I'm gonna build a rocket tank. So it's four regular rockets and then one external, which can only be used once per battle. But these provide a fair amount of blast damage. 40 each. They do tend to start fires. This is a weird thing. I think I'm gonna call it the goblin. 
Yeah, this is such a weird thing. If I had more time, I'd definitely focus on looks more. So if this does become a series or a one-off in the future, um, if you all like it enough, I will definitely focus on actually getting better at making things look prettier than this. But right now, it is very light. I am running out of time already, and I do want to destroy at least one empire before the end of this. So, sure, it's going to be called the Goblin. Yep, just one. Again, because I lost so many. We will fight it out, though. What is it doing? You know you could win this so easily by going behind us, right? There you go. Oh. Are you a bit unsure about this? Look at dodge and weave. I guess actually that is, that is a good thing to do, try and dodge. Yeah, obviously we're losing that. That was... Oh, no, no, no. Pause, pause, pause. Oh, wait. We won? Did it give up? I am very confused. Ah. That's going to take too long to repair, sadly. That's how I would have probably won. I... Yeah, it just fled for some reason. I'm not so sure why it did that. Okay, I'm just going to give up now because I haven't got any ammo. And then instant revenge. Yeah, you can go much further back. You can go much further forward. It's basically the fight from before, but this time they don't actually have any ground defense and we have rockets. Oh, I forgot to add a um, spotter, so we're a bit less accurate. Stick with them. Oh yeah, the single-use weapons. There we go. Hopefully it hits. Not quite. With it moving around so much, these rockets are actually very likely to miss. There we go, got at least one direct hit. Oh, that was lovely. Oh, look at that. Just tore open a huge section of armor there. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Yep, yeah, I do love missiles. The worm guides us. Rejoice, brethren! I love the fact that they have their own unique voice lines because they're the cultists. That's a nice touch. We could attack... Okay, let's send a spy there. We can have two spies at once, right? Send a spy there. Lovely. I want to see what both of their capitals are like before I do anything else. Sodvale has partially recovered from the war. Oh god, it's got three of those. Only 20% chance of success to destroy these and they cost a fortune. That is a lot though. How about you? Oh, that's so much weaker. Yeah, we're going to take that. Definitely. That's what we're doing. In the background, could you please build me another goblin? Yeah, they don't stand a chance. So here's the thing, although they have less weapons on this side, the light is currently in our favour, so they're probably going to miss almost every single shot. So you definitely want to get there because, you know, you're short range. You, I don't know. Because going past means we're going to be hit quite a lot as we get close. Maybe just staying back and just firing like this. Oh wow, yeah, use damn fire, please. You know what? No, I want to be actually able to hit the target. Please. Please and thank you. Oh, that armor is ridiculously good against that shots.
It looks like they are missing almost all the shots, so maybe we should just stay there for now. Don't waste any damage, just keep on firing. Lovely long range missiles. Well, the top of this thing is slowly breaking off. Oh look, you can finally use both of your um, sets of guns. Huzzah! Oh, I just realised as well, our our bombing unit would have been great here because they can't fire upwards. Well, that's definitely gone. Can we choose who you target? There must be. Yeah, target ship, so I can change targets. Well, it matters. The siege is pretty much over now. All that's left is that tiny little thing just there, and then we're done. And we'll have a gentle takeover, so now we do have another shipyard, and that was their home gone, so they can't make ships anymore. We are all good. Can't, oh yeah, can't um, repair until that's fully repaired. More missiles. And flamethrowers. Okay, we'll make flamethrowers so we can use it in at least one fight, then I'm probably going to call the video because we have defeated an enemy, which was my main goal, and I think I've showcased how the game works. We are on normal difficulty, I think I'll up the difficulty, because honestly my designs today were terrible, but we still, we still won. Shouldn't have, I wasn't playing well, and my designs were terrible, but we still won. Not good. So I'll definitely go to hard or very hard if I do come back to this game properly. If nothing else, it's been a fun showcase and just going down memory lane. I just really wanted to uh, play it. Rather than making a ship from scratch, I'm just going to take the grape and add the flamethrowers. Ooh, there's the giant flamethrower, then there's the smaller versions. The price difference is pretty extreme. 20 damage per second. Sorry, rate of fire 20 per second, 5 damage. Well, that's actually a lot. That's even more, obviously. But uh, this thing, it's very easy to retrofit, so I'm just going to do that. Warm grape. Plus 70% range or plus 1 damage. Eh, I like damage. As long as we make it past them, we've won. Yep, there we go. That's all I need to do. Who's ready for some flamethrowers? The worm guides me. Oh, I've heard at least one death. Okay, change target. I want to see um, what you've done. <laughs> That's so much fun! Oh, lovely! Yeah, I love flamethrowers. Who would have thought? That was stupidly fun. Let's do it again. Oh yeah, probably should have got ammo back. Well. About to see how much uh, ammo this thing takes up. <laughs> it's just so much faster than the other weapons. <laughs> yeah, love flamethrowers. So, that is it. Oh no, you have one left. Oh, fine, let's do that as well. Let's see if you've got the ammo. Just in case you don't. This is the last one they have. Ooh, this one actually will probably kill us. Interestingly enough. Because it's going to take damage on the way. Take out that gun. Yeah, we're running out of coal. We've already lost one of our guns. Come on, you're hitting the wrong ones. Yay, victory. <laughs> Flamethrowers are great. So, with that... Thank you so much for watching. If you have enjoyed today's video, then of course, likes, favourites, shares, comments, all that good stuff helps out me, helps out the channel, and most importantly, shows that Airships Conquer the Skies is a series you wish to see continued in the future. Either I'll do a full playthrough, uh, in which I'll just have one long video, like an hour long or so, on a much larger map, or I'll do a small series of maybe four or five episodes doing the same idea. Don't really know just yet, but that's if you're actually interested in it, because I do love it. 
but it will be in my spare time recording it. So, thank you for watching, have a lovely day, do take care, and until next time, remember, the worm loves us. And perhaps, we can love the worm. <laughs>